Well, there are new developments to report in the investigation into those deadly wildfires on Maui in August. At least 100 people were killed, you may recall, and thousands more lost their homes. Jonathan Vigliotti has covered this since the very beginning, and he's joining us now with the new details. Jonathan, good morning. And good morning to you, Anne-Marie. CBS News has learned the state attorney general issued subpoenas yesterday targeting three departments as part of the governor's independent probe into this fire. We knew this might be coming because as we first reported last week, sources told us some county officials are being what they called uncooperative. One subpoena was served to the emergency management department where radio communications that could have saved lives were seemingly not being monitored at the time of the fire. Former agency head Herman Andaya, as you may recall, was widely criticized for deciding not to sound the emergency sirens. A second subpoena was issued to the Department of Water Supply. This, we're told, may be tied to a probe looking into why Lahaina's fire hydrants lost pressure during the fire. And the Department of Public Works was also subpoenaed. Two sources from the state and two from the county also told us investigators asked Maui County Mayor Richard Bisson multiple times to be interviewed about the fire response, but at this point, he has still remained silent. There is no word when the first phase of this investigation will be complete. And Marie, it's been three and a half months since this fire and still not a lot of clarity on what happened. Yeah, and I'm sure a, a lot of frustration to go with that. Mm. Um, we all saw you know, tons of video being uploaded to social media platforms. I imagine mm. that some of this is what investigators are sifting through to help figure out what happened. Uh, that's correct. You know, those videos and the eyewitness accounts from survivors will play a critical role in developing a timeline. And thus far, as we are learning, they have been the most cooperative in this early phase of the investigation. Where were firefighters? Where were the police at the time? We do know from early accounts and from speaking with officials that a majority of the fire crews on the island were actually dispatched to another fire on the other side of the island and were perhaps hampered from getting back to the fire in time. And then there were also a accounts of some police officers that may be in the confusion of everything that was unfolding, of course, not getting word perhaps from MEMA, the emergency management agency, were directing, uh, not realizing it, people that were trying to drive away to safety, in fact, back into the fire. So those oh eyewitness goodness. accounts are going to play a critical role. You've seen the video. It is traumatizing for so many that lived through it. And that is a critical piece to this puzzle that is still very much incomplete at this hour. Well, I hope they can get the answers that they need uh, sooner mm. than later. Jonathan, thank you very much. Thank you.